Water, it's our most precious resource. We need it to clean, heat our homes, and of course, to drink. But delivering safe, clean drinking water to all your taps might be a little bit more difficult than you guys actually realize. Now, I know what you're thinking. Doesn't water just fall from the sky? Well, yeah, you're right. But there's a little bit more to it than that. That's why I'm on site to give you guys more of an insight on the water that you drink. So let's have a look, shall we? Every day, Thames Water deliver over 2.6 billion litres of drinking water to over 10 million people across the southeast. And it all starts at our rivers and natural underground stores called aquifers. Okay, so I'm Sarah Holland. Mm -hmm. I am the director of our operations service centre. So we are based all over the Thames Water region mm -hmm. and here to serve our customers ultimately. Now, I've been on my water journey with Thames Water and I'm, I've been enjoying it, I'll be honest. But for me, I know, you know, we turn our taps on, water comes from the sky. Where does the clean water, what's the process though? I mean, it sort of comes from the sky. Okay. We have got reservoirs like this yeah. one here that will fill up. So we take water out of the river yeah. and then we fill reservoirs a bit like this one. We've got quite a few. This yeah. is probably our biggest, I think, in terms of actual size. Yeah. Um, we take that river water and then we treat it at Treatment Works. Did you know that 70% of our water comes from rivers? The other 30% is drawn from these underground reservoirs and both replenish naturally from rainfall. If, if you look at it just as a simple balancing equation, yeah. we have enough water to meet what customers need. Yeah. And at most of the time we have more than enough. Mm -hmm. When you have a time where you've got customers using more water yeah. than they would do normally, yeah. and you've also got a little bit less water available than you would have normally, yeah. it hasn't rained, that's a bit of a double whammy yeah. in terms of us needing to balance out what our customers are using. It's easy to feel as though water is in an endless supply especially after a few rainy days, but that isn't actually the case. In fact, the southeast is one of the driest areas in the UK and is classed as water stressed. So water doesn't just come from here straight to our taps. From here uh, and lots of our other, we've got a number yeah. of uh, raw water sources, of goes around 20,000 miles of pipes to oh, wow. one of our treatment works okay, and we've got yes. them all over our area, big, yeah. medium, small. Um, and there they go through a really rigorous testing process and treatment process. Mm -hmm. So three or four stages um, and then they're tested. So they go okay. to an independent lab to make sure that that water is the top, top quality. That means it can then go out into our network and make its way to your tap. Yeah. After that, yes. you use it to brush your tea, yes. drink some water, etc. Mm -hmm. And then once it goes into the drain or down the toilet, it makes its way to one of our treatment works for mm -hmm. sewage. So yes. into our sewage system. Okay. Mm -hmm. So customers at the moment use about 140 litres of water to a, a day. I mean, it, it's hard to contextualise. Yeah. But even if every customer used 10 less, yeah. for the whole community, that would make such a difference. So I guess the old, you know, the good old turn off the tap while you're brushing your teeth. If everyone, if every single person just used that little bit less water, think about how much more there is to go around. Yeah. And I think if you're not doing it for, for us, mm -hmm. do it for your communities, do it for your friends, your families, the mm -hmm. people that live in your local area, because that is ultimately how do we get the balance right. Yeah. So that's where we need our people and our teams and our customers to help us, mm -hmm. is if everyone does their little bit, really makes a big difference, big difference. and we do our bit too. We need to do more to protect our future supplies and ensure there's enough for everyone. And it's only by working together can we protect our most precious resource for future generations.